Good everyone. My name is Graphics. In this video, we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in autographic projection. Now, if you look at this, we have reproduced the figure on our drawing sheet. Right? Why I'm doing this is to give you a better understanding and a better view of what it means to draw an isometric projection in autographic projection, right? Now, when you have the word autographic projection, the first thing you have to do is to draw your autographic axis. That is, you take your T-square or your rule and you draw your X-axis this way. Do your x axis this way, right? And you also you draw your y axis this way, you can see that you draw the y axis this way, now you take your meter rule. And you measure five millimeter on your meter rule, right? Five millimeter, and you place it here. You mark up, you mark down, you mark left, and you mark right, right? And you do the same thing, you draw a horizontal line to pass through that point in this fashion. Right, and also you do for this also to pass in this fashion. Hope you can see that, and you do that for the y axis also from here in this fashion, and also from here in this fashion. So this is the first thing you are going to do when you hear the word orthographic projection. Now this is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Now if you look at the question closely, we are told to draw the front elevation of the given view. And the arrow is pointing in this direction. Alright? The arrow is what? Pointing in this direction. We are told to draw the front elevation of this of the parts of this object or will i say this component now when your arrow is pointing here the question is what are you going to see when your arrow is pointing in this direction right so if you look at this direction here you are going to see first of all you have a plane right that means the plane comprises of the entire height and what the entire length now from the diagram as you can see, the entire height here is given to be what? Um, 88, right? The entire height here is given to be what? 88. I will together. So you're going to measure the entire height. Now, if I measure it, it on my meter rule, as you can see from the diagram, I will take my meter rule this way. So I'm going to measure it. it. So my where I will start measuring from will be the outer corner here, right? So I'll measure it, it from that point upward, meaning that from here to here, right? And from here to here is it, it. So I'll just measure it, it. So using my meter rule in this manner, from zero here, this is 80 and this is 88 eight here. You can see that this is what it is here. Now, once I've done that, the entire length will be 163 because from this point to this point is 75, right? And we have 75 plus um, 80 to give us what we have here. So, from here to here is one what? 
163 right so that is we we'll measure the 163 if i make use of this right let's say i am starting from 20 or better still if i rearrange this this way starting from one all together so i have from one that will be my zero to 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 120 130 140 150 160 163 here can you see that then i'm going to take it up So I'll we'll just join this here. Hope you can see that. So this is the plane where I want to put in my image. So whatever you're doing, once you've gotten the entire height and the entire length, what you should be in your mind is that your drawing should not go out of this boundary, right? So the entire height I will see earlier from the diagram you can see from here to here is what 88 as I measured it. And which is from here to here to eat and from here to here is from here to here so i'm going to take in that part here i'm going to what i will take in it so from here i'll take in it you can see that from here from here to here and from here to here will be on a straight line in autocarry projection you'll be seeing a circular object right the side of a circular object has a straight line that is why from here to here you see it is a curve will be seen as what from a straight line that is from here to here from this end to this end is from this end to this end you will be seeing the curve like what a straight line is that okay now and from here to here including from here to here will be on a straight line you'll be seen as if this is moved forward to be on the same level that is why from here to here is from here to here so and everything is thickened. So I'm going to thicken it from the beginning here to this point here. You can see that. Now similarly, um, from here to here is given to be what 75. Right? So I'm going to measure 75 on my metal rule this way. Taking my metal rule, and I'm going to measure 75 from zero. To 75, you will have here. And I'll place it here. Then I'll mark. Right? And what do you notice? It is touching from here to here. Is from here to here. I'm going to make this upward. So I'll use my metal rule. Right? And I'm going to take this upward. Taking it. You can see that now the next thing is if you look closely i have hidden line here the hidden line is telling me that there is a circle in between there's a hole in between and the hole is a true is hollow so this hidden line is telling me that there's a hole in between that i'm using hidden line so the thickness will now be from here to here we know very well from here to here is 75 and this circle here is 50 so if you subtract 50 from 75, you'll be having 25. So for me to you will be 12.5 and for me to you be what 12.5. Is that the key now? Because 12.5 12 plus 12.5 12 is 25. And 25 plus the diameter of this circle is what 50. Since the diameter is 50, is that the key now? So I'm going to measure 12.5 in both sides. So it means that from here to here is 12.5. From here to here is 12.5. Is that the key now? So I'll just come here and I'm going to measure 12.5. Or another way you can do that is to get the center of 75. So if I get the center of 75 from 0 to 75 here, right? If I should get the center of that 75, that's another way of doing it. How can you get the center? Another way of getting the center is just to join diagonals. So once I join the diagonal here, and I also join this diagonal here. 
this way. So it means this center here is the center of the figure, right? Now what I will just do is I'll just draw a center line there to show that there's a circle, there's a circle there. Long one, short, long, short, long, short, long, right? So what you do is you measure 25 to the left, 25 to the right, that will give you your 50. Is that taken? Is that another way of doing it? Or well, you just measure 3.5 from that point here. So I'll just come here and measure 25. And here, 25 here. And I'll place it at this point. 25 to the left, then 25 to the right. I will now apply my center line there. So when I apply my center line there, from here, I'll draw this this way. And from here to this place. You can see that, that was the center line we have. Is that taking? Meaning that we have a circle here that I'm using the center line. Now the next thing is, um, from here to here, is from here to here. You can see that from here to here, and that will give us a height of uh, forty. Is that taking? So I'm here forty, because from here to here, giving to be what forty, which is the same from here to here, which will be somewhere around here. So I'm measure forty at that end. 0 to 4 is 40 and this other. What I'll just do is I'm going to connect it to touch that end here. Taking it here. You can see that. Uh, this point is seen from here to here. Is that taking? And the next thing you do is um, that we were seeing this four figure here. It is this whole figure you see. Is that the key? Now there is a web connecting from here to this point, which is from here to here, which will be from this point down to this point. Is that the key? Once I've done that, I'm going to connect this point to down here. You can see that. That is the web that we have there. Now the next thing that we should be doing here is that this is a circle at this point here, like a curve here. That again. So what I will do is to get the center of from here to here, which is forty, and the center is what twenty. So I measure from here to here to be twenty, right? You measure twenty from that base. Let me show you what I did. Take a metal rule, place it at this base here, and you measure twenty. You can see that, and I'll be drawing my center line at that point because this is this symmetrical. I'll draw this long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, and so on. Right now, the next thing I'm going to do here is that from this point here to this point is 25, from this point here to this point is 25. So I'll measure from here to somewhere around there 25. And for me, it's somewhere around the 25. So I'll take my meter rule and I'll measure 25. This 25. Then if I come here again, I'll do the same thing. This is 25. Right? And I will just um, place it this way. Just draw a vertical line here. I'll come here also, draw another vertical line there. Is that the key? And the radius here is 22. From here to here is 22. So I'll take half of it, which is what? 11. I'm going to take half of it, which is what? 11. So turn to what? 11 here. Can you see that? So I'll place it here at this point. And I'm going to draw a semicircle. Then I'll come here also to this point here and we'll draw another semicircle. So what I'll do is this. I'll just connect these two points here. And connect these two points here. 
Yeah. You can see that. So uh, what we have there. You can see that. So what else again do we have? So this is what we have, the main one of them, and that is a circle here, which is this circle. You see me that the circle is going through this figure. That's why I'm putting dotted line to show that there's a hollow part here, right? So what I'll just do is I'll get the center of this figure here. Is that again? How can I get the center? Just take your metal rule and join diagonal. So if I place it this way, I'll just draw a line this way. I'll come this way also. I'll draw another line this way. So where they meet here, that will be the center of that figure. Is that again? And the diameter of that circle is given to be 12. That again, as you can see, going to be what 12. So that is, this is the center of it. I'll just draw my center line this way. Long shot, long shot, long shot. Right? And let me just complete it. What I will do is since it's 12, I'll measure 6 to the left and also I'll measure 6 to the right. So from 0 here, we have 6. And from 0 here, we have 6. So I'll just come from here. Just do this way. Come from here. Just do this way. So this is what we have here. That's the case. So what does it mean? We have successfully reproduced this figure here at this point so this is what we have here we'll call this the front elevation right so when you're looking at this point you're going to see here a and this is the a here you see this curve here which is this curve here. i'll call it b that is all this curve you're seeing right is this rectangle here you're seeing here is this rectangle you're seeing here right in this circle you're seeing here, you're seeing it that there's a circle, but you cannot see it on the front. That's why it's in hidden line. Similarly, all this shape you see here, you see a cylinder as a straight line. What we have here, the hidden line you're seeing is the circle that you have here, which is what we have using hidden line to represent it. This is what we have here. So the next thing we're going to be doing is to draw what draw out the plan. Right? The same thing you did here. You get in, you just project the two ends of the front elevation. You project the two ends of what? Of the front elevation this way. So when I project these two ends here, and I come here, I have this also. Then you get the entire height of the plan. Now, this is the plan looking in from the top. The entire length from here to here is 163, which is the same the length of the elevation. That's what you have here from here to here, same thing same from here to here for the plan right now that means the other part which is from here to here is what we don't have so how can we have the length of that so what you are going to do we know very well that um from here right to the center of this circle here is 50. are we good and from here to here is 37.5 that is the center of 75. are we together now that is what the center of what 75 so what we are going to do is this we're going to add um from here to here 50 50 plus that 7.5 that will give you 87.5 are you with me now so because the radius of this arc here is that 7.5 because the length of it here is 75 so half of 75 is what that 7.5 so that 7.5 plus the 50 from here to here, as you can see from the diagram, is given to be what? It's given to be um, 87.5, right? So my entire length here is from this point, you measure from this point, or you measure from this point. It's 7.5, right? So you see this way, from zero, this is 80, right? From zero to this point, 85, 80, they will have 85. This is 7.5 here. Somewhere around here. Is that taken? So I will just draw my line this way. Is that taken? So that's what I will do. So I'll just draw the line this way. Faint line. 
Can you see that? So this is the height of my plan, which is given as the width, and the length of the plan, which is saying the length of the front elevation. So what you just do it makes it more easier. You start projecting, right? Plan means you're looking at it from the top. So from the top, let me first of all extend this center line this way. This is the center line. Then what I will do is, since from here to here is 50, meaning that from here to here is 50, so I'm going to measure from this point and I'll measure 50 on my entire right? So from 0 to 50, right? And I'll place it at this point on mark. So what I'll do is, that is where another center will be. I'll place it this way. So this way we have long shot, long shot that represents the center line. Now I'll just take my radius of that circle, right? Or I'll just take a little of the circle, or just take the radius of from here to here. You can see that. And I'll place it here. And I'm going to draw a circle. Okay, when you're looking from the top you see a circle which is the circle here right then the next one is from that same center you place it from here to this point then you draw a semicircle all together from here to this point it is the semicircle you're seeing here they have the same center so i can just place it from here to this point here then I'll draw a semicircle. So once I've done that, I'm going to uh, take this to touch the lowest point here. Yeah. I'll take this. To touch the lowest point here, you can see that. Now, the next thing we're doing, see this circle you're seeing is made from this, telling you that there is a true there. You can see that is faint line there. Now, the next thing is from here to here, is from here to here. You'll be seeing this curve here, this inclined line and the straight line, like I always tell you. We are looking something perpendicular. We're seeing this inclined line as what as a straight line to appear that they are both on the same direction. So that when you're looking this pencil now, I have bent it. Right? Look at the pencil. I have bent. I, I didn't put the pencil like this. Even though I put the pencil this way and I bent this way, you still be seeing as if it's standing straight. Right? No matter how I raise it up, you seeing as if it's standing straight when you're looking at it from a distance. Doesn't you cannot really easily differentiate when the pencil is like this and when the pencil is like this. So take it now. That's what is happening here. Looking from the top, it looks like this inclined line is what is a straight line. Now I'm using a straight line here. So what I will just do is the distance from here to here from the question is given to be what 16. So I'm going to measure 16 from this point from 0 right to 16. Right? And I'm going to take in that point there. I'm going to take in that point here from here, straight down here. And from this end here, straight down here. You can see that. And I am going to close it up here. I need to just close it up. So the next thing that we're going to be doing here is this thickness here is this thickness here. You'll be seeing this part that what we'll just do here. Now the next thing is from here to here is from here to here all together and that what we're having here and that will give me the half of what it is which will be what 44 so from here to this point here is given to be like a 50 right so i'm going to measure from here to here so just take your meter rule right and you measure from the from the question 50 this is from here to here 50. 
you can see that which is the same level as this center here i'll just take my meter rule and i'll do the same thing here just close it up right and also i'll close it up is that okay now the next thing that we'll be having here is that you can easily project this looking from the top this um here this part here seeing it from the top here but since it's going through you see that it is what all going through so you just project this part it's easier to do it here and you project this part down here so you can easily draw your center line your hidden line seeing that there's a hidden feature there something you cannot see from the top but it's there that's why you use your hidden line You can see that and similarly uh we have this just use the center line here so what you should always do is you just take half of it from here to here and you place it at the center here i told you how to get a center line to get the center of this figure you can join the diagonal of this to this this weight center is this point here so you just measure from this point to this point which is given as six you place it here and you draw your circle you're not here to be here sorry we're not placing it here we're placing it here so let me correct that so if i should do that let me extend this down this way So to get the center of this figure, I will join the diagonal down from here to here. Can you see? So this is the center here. So I'm going to take the radius of from here to here. I'll place it at this point, which is six. And I'll draw it this way. That is what we have there. Is that the key? So we successfully reproduced that figure you can see. This is the plan. Let me make that visible. Well, that's what we have, right? This is the front elevation of the object, and this is what this is the plan. Is that okay now? So the next thing is to draw out the what the end view. End view means you're looking it from this side. Are we good? Looking it from this side, and this is what you are going to see. So for you to draw the end view, the first thing you have to do is to draw an angle of what 45 degree at this end here right an angle of 45 degree at this end here all together and you project each of this end this way to touch here so once i've done that i'll take this upward Just want to get the plane figure, right? Then you connect the highest point here. That is the plane we have here. So my target is from here, here, and here is where my end view will be placed. That's the key now. So when I'm doing that. So let's see what is going to happen. Now, if I project this circle, let me just say the center line of the circle here. Let's first of all start with that. If I project it this way, to touch here. That means I'll use my 45 degree and T square. I'll take this upward this way to make it 90 degree. So that will be the center of that circle. Is that taken? So if I just take half of it this way from here to here you can easily place it here and i'm going to mark left and what and right or i will just um, move this to touch this point and also move this end to touch this point and i'll project this point upward which i'm going to use my hidden line so when i project this point upward 
this is my hidden line here which I'm going to explain to you now from here also I'll take it up why am I using the hidden line if you look at this object from the front here from the end here this circle in between this figure you're seeing here will be seen as a hidden line because you cannot see it from here it's in between this object that i'm using hidden line to represent the figure there is that again so you see that i projected the two ends of the circle but at this point it is what hidden line now the next thing we're going to be having is if i should project this web here to touch this point then i'll take it upward i'll take it what upward from where it meets the diagonal line at 45 degree i'll take it upward right and where did this stop that same web you're seeing that same line is from here to here which is from here to here so i'm going to put it where it stops i'll just project this end here so this is where it stopped all right so i'm going to take in that aspect from here to this point and this other point here from here to here which is the body of that figure because from here to here and from here to this point here we see it as a straight line all together we see it as what as a straight line so from here to here is from here to here so i'm just replicating this here so the next one is if i should project this end which is sending us if you look at this end here stop in here so i'm going to draw my straight line to stop at that point this one here stop here you can see that and i'll bring this straight down Now what I just did here, this line you see, is this line you see here, and it's coming down and it's coming down. So but from here to here is between from here to here and from here to here as a straight line. We see in a curve as a straight line, right? So we are paying that this straight line is at the beginning here. That is why I am going to just draw this from this point or taking it to come straight ahead and touch here. You can see that and uh, the next thing is i will also take in this to come straight ahead here to touch here and also do the same thing here too taking this to come straight ahead from here to touch here and what is again do we have now this you'll be seeing will be i'll project this outward now I'm using my heading line to represent it. Now come here to put it outward. I use my heading line to show that up here, which is what I did here. You cannot see this figure. You see here this opening from this side. So use heading line to show it. There is an opening here, right? Then and then what else again? Just get the center of this circle here. Project this to touch here and you take it upward. Then you project it here also with the circle. It's around this point here. So, what we'll just do here is since it is 12, I'll measure 6 to the right and 6 to the left. I'll just take it from here. Now, place it here. Measure 6 here and 6 here. That is what I'm going to use my center line to represent here. Hidden line. Hope you can see that. So, this is what we have here. If you see in this circle, you can see it from here. So, use the line to represent it. And uh, what else again? This is what we have to so successfully reproduce the figure. In autographic projection, this is the front elevation where the arrow is pointing. 
after the front elevation we have the plan this is the plan looking at from the top and this is the end view looking at from the side right looking at from here so this is what we have here if you are the two if you are two to draw it in third angle these two figure here will be down and this will be up but the difference is since it's coming this way this will be going this way so i think you know that we will call the um autogram projection of this isometric what isometric view here you are taking here so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching